Tattoo Talk Tuesday. Tattoo Talk Tuesday, if this is your first time joining us, is our weekly interactive tattoo talk YouTube show where I take user-generated questions from you guys and I lend my experience as a tattoo collector to you. Today I am going to be talking all about Tattoo Flash. What it is, how I collect it, I'm going to show my collection and I'm going to share some tips with you guys about how I display it, my frames, how much each one cost, and a couple unconventional tattoo flash pieces that I also have in my collection. So definitely stay tuned if you are a little curious, if you've been looking at this wall in a couple episodes and you have questions about the artists. Definitely stay tuned and if you're trying to build your own tattoo flash collection, I will help you in any way possible. So first of all, a couple things that you might find helpful if you're, you are going to start collecting tattoo flash is definitely command hooks. So these are command hooks. They kind of work like Velcro. They look like this and they're really strong adhesive. I hang most of my frames up with command hooks. I used to do the old punk method and just put thumbtacks in the wall, and I kind of still do that with smaller pieces, but for my bigger pieces, they're all hung up with command hooks. A little bit more of an unconventional thing first, because I feel like when you start, if you are a tattoo artist or a tattoo flash collector, I feel like a lot of these people collect antiques and different things like that. So I always try to have like some antique stuff in my like tattoo flash area. I got this at a flea market in the Poconos. <laughs> and then I have these two other pieces. This isn't necessarily tattoo flash, but I feel like it has a tattoo vibe. And this is by Aurora. She sent this to me um, just as frenzies. And you can see that it is a hand and it is cross stitched and I think that it's super cool. This picture frame was from the thrift store. This picture frame is from the thrift store but I think it's from Ikea. So you can see here that this is a little embroidered branch and this top part says only ankle high and this is a me without you reference. So my old roommate made this for me because I wanted to get this as a tattoo, but my ankle is already tattooed, so I couldn't get it. So she just surprised me with this. So it is a tattoo-inspired idea. And you can see it's really cool, but the bad thing about this picture frame is it doesn't have a back, so I usually just lean this. Over here, I have two pieces from Mike Adams, tattoo artist. This is two frogs. This one is like on a motorcycle and him. And then I have this piece down here, which is the shadow puppet, which he's pretty famous for. And then this kind of like map with a flower and like sacred geometry detail and an eye. So these I actually had custom framed only because I went to AC Moore to get frames. And this is kind of a strange size. You can kind of see right here where this white is. Both of these prints were like a weird, unconventional measurement. So when I was asking for help at AC Moore, the girl who helped me was like, oh, I'll just quickly make a frame for you. And I was like, all right, girl. So I had both of these framed. I believe these were $20 each, but I was tattooed by Mike Adams that day. So I think he gave them both to me for $20. Um, and then the frames, I believe, were like $17 each and they're pretty durable frames. I really like them. Mike doesn't really paint in this style anymore, and I don't really see him offering flash too often, so I feel like both of these are pretty rare. A few years ago, I felt like I should sell them when I was like on hard times, but I'm glad I didn't because I feel like they're pretty unique, and you can see that he signed this one in like color. Over here, I have these cork boards that are uniquely shaped and they adhere to the wall. I got these at Target and I feel like these are a great way to kind of display little things like um, tattoo flash patches. These are both by Mike King. And then I also have my my Quicken Meetup print right there and then another patch 
um, like a tattoo style patch. So right here I have my Quicken flash sheet that was available for sale for a little while. Some of you guys may have one on your wall. This is actually the original that I had framed. Um, and then the other ones were prints created from the original. This picture frame is from Target and I believe it was a little more expensive, like $20. This is hung up with command hooks, so like you can kind of hear that Velcro sound. Um, and because this is like a 4x4, four four, I had to find like a unique kind of picture frame for it, but I like the negative space. Over here I have my Mike King flash, like Quicken flash sheet right there. Um, I really like this. This is one of a kind. This picture frame is pretty deep. You can kind of see how my hand is right there. I want to say he got this from Ikea, but he gave me this flash sheet and this frame as a gift. So I don't know how much this cost, but I love this. I love looking at it. It's a little unconventional because you wouldn't really view it as a flash sheet but Mike has a really unique comic book style art to his tattoos and I really recommend it. His tattoo shop is called The Top Secret and I'll link you, I'll put some information about him um, in the description box if you wanna start following him on Instagram or whatever. He's really unique and definitely worth keeping an eye on. So a ton of people ask me about my little Ashley Love butterfly here and you can see it says Ashley Love right there. A lot of people ask me questions like, um, can you get a tattoo from a flash sheet? And I think that's a really great question because there have been times where I bought flash sheets because I wasn't able to be tattooed by the tattoo artist. If you aren't able to be tattooed by the tattoo artist or if you just live somewhere else, it's always a great question to ask the artist because everybody has their own personal feelings on it. I used to believe like if I can't get tattooed by somebody, it would be great to just have like a piece of flash from them. So I always follow my favorite artists on Instagram, even if they're from New Zealand, just in case they ever post a flash sheet so I can buy it. So that's what I think is really great about flash. Like if you could never get tattooed by the artist, at least you can buy something that they created. So this little piece from Ashley Law was actually given to me as a gift. Ashley sells a ton of originals on her Etsy, so she's really great about constantly refreshing her tattoo flash, and she always has really great stuff. I have bought flash from her twice at conventions, and I think maybe like once online, so I have a lot of Ashley's work, and it's always amazing. So this, this Idle Hands Do the Devil's Dirty Work is from the True Hands um, two-year anniversary party. This kind of seems like it isn't tattoo flash, but I did get it in celebration of a tattoo shop that I like to go to. This is Mike Ski's tattoo shop. Um, he did my crybaby eye just quickly. And he's really awesome and I wanted to support them in any way possible and definitely have something like this. So I got this at their party. I don't believe they make this anymore because I have been asked questions about this and I don't think that they make it, but maybe going to their shop and checking it out is worth it because I do have a couple patches from them I got from their shop and a t-shirt and some stickers, so they're pretty good with their merch. Um, and they do have this really cool Mutter Museum sheet that they have right now. I wanted to get it for this episode, but time flies. So you can see that I have this hung up with a binder clip. I think binder clips are great to preserve um, your, your flash, especially if you don't want to mar the piece by putting, uh, you know, like tacking it right to your wall, but you might not necessarily have any picture frames this big or available, or maybe you're doing something really creative. So I like to use these binder clips, especially for bigger pieces like this or if I just like don't have any picture frames or I'm feeling really lazy. I know Target has some really really cool binder clips that you can get for under five dollars that are either brass or gold or speckled, unique. So you can get really creative with binder clips, that's definitely an option for you. This piece by Mark Cross.
I really love that it is numbered. So mine is 51 out of 100. And I have that hung up with a binder clip because it is rather large. I wanted to get a piece of flash from Mark for the longest time. And he just really doesn't make flash to sell. He makes a ton of flash, but it is to be displayed in his tattoo shop where he displays all originals. So after bugging him, I was able to get one of these from him. Um, I don't know if he ever put them for sale. Of the great things about Mark, if you want to have something that like represents him that you can share, he does like, he's really good about making stickers and about making patches. And I mean, I think you often see me wearing a Mark Cross pin. There were definitely opportunities for me to display my admiration for Mark's artistic ability through wearing like his merchandise. And I think you will see me wearing Mark's... I have like four different Rose Tattoo t-shirts. I have a Mark Cross t-shirt. So I wear those a lot. I'm wearing one in my profile picture on my Instagram. If you don't know who your favorite tattoo artists are or you don't really know where to start and you don't really follow too many people on Instagram and you just started collecting Tattoo Flash, a great place to look is Etsy. I have these two pieces right here that are... I mean, my friend gave me these, but they are available on Etsy. So it kind of like looks a little tattoo-y and I think it's really interesting and unique. So I have this one in a frame and then this one I just have in cardboard for the time being, and it is this typewriter. And it is this typewriter, and I think that's really cool too if you want to start collecting tattoo flash but you don't know where to start. This definitely has like that tattoo antique vibe, and like I said earlier, if you are going to start decorating with tattoo flash, putting like little accents of antique items is definitely going to work really well for you. So both of these can be found on Etsy just by typing like typewriter screen print. And I, like I said, I switch my picture frames a lot. So when I am just like keeping things in limbo, I just press them in between cardboard. This picture frame is from the dollar store. It's from their like diploma frame section. So framing both of these and buying them I think you can find them for under $5. So I brought us to this side of my room where I have a lot more flash. Some I have taken off of my wall so I can just show it to you. So the first thing I'm gonna show is this is from Ashley Love and it says, you are the number one for me, fatty. I got this at the convention when I saw her so I bought this in real life. This is another one of those dollar store diploma frames. And this is not an original, this is a print. So I bought this, I believe it was $20 because I got tattooed by her at the same time. In the corner you saw that I had this. This is just Derek Hooper's business card. I just thought it was really nice and it's really well made. So I have it displayed in the corner right here. Some other stuff I have from Derek Hooper I got at the tattoo convention this last year. So I have a couple pieces from him that I'll show you. I think that she's so cool and relaxed and I love just like her little foot and her little outfit. I talked to Derek and he said that these were all inspired by like 90s catalog models, but I think that they're like totally current. So this picture frame is pretty like deep. I got these at Ikea. They have a name, whatever name it is, let's say Ribba frames and I think that these were seven dollars each. Here is another one from the same series. Sorry about the glare. So she is super cool. I really love her. There's Derek's little signature right there. And I love her like yellow bathing suit and that she's like, I don't know, imperfect and still perfect at the same time with curly hair. I feel like you don't see a lot of women depicted with curly hair. So she's super awesome, I love her. And it also has this like flap on the back, which is cool because I don't have to commit to hanging these up. So sometimes I'm, I like have these displayed. And here is another one I picked up at the tattoo convention this last year with like the same kind of motif. And she has like a tattoo on her side right there. And I think she's great. She's just like taking off her hoodie. 
I also got this formation flash sheet from Derek Cooper, which I do not have a frame for right now, so I'm just keeping it in um, a bubble envelope. So you can see right here, there's Bay, And I love this, I think it's so cool. I think she looks so beautiful and I feel like there is not a strong amount of flash sheets of like other than like white women. So I was really excited that he wasn't afraid to like just come out and paint this. I think it's so beautiful and like who wouldn't want this tattoo? So this flash is actually really exciting for me. I got this from a subscriber. Her boyfriend paints flash. So she was like, yeah, he should totally send you some. And I was like, totally, I have the, the greatest flash collection I feel, it's always growing. So I actually have the information that they left me tucked into this, which is really cool. And it says, hi Quicken, my fiance on Instagram. Let you know, I wanted to send over one of my flash prints to you. I hope you like it. I wanted to paint a witty take on gendered beauty standards. Enjoy, Brian Roloff. So here's all of his information right there. And I'll leave it down below too. So this next piece I have is pretty unique. I actually found this at a thrift store and I felt like they had just put this picture in here so they could sell the picture frame. But I really love the picture. I really love the image. I feel like it has this old Pennsylvania folk art feeling to it. But I also feel like it really lends itself to tattoo flash. So it's a little unconventional, but I really love it. So I always beat myself up about it because it looks like it has a page number, like it came out of a book. But there were three of them, but they were selling them for like $10 each, I guess, cause this frame, maybe it's made out of like real wood or something. And you can see on the back, the frame is like the real deal. Like these are scary. So I had gone back later that week with a couple more dollars in my pocket and they were all gone so i really love this piece i don't know anything about it when i when i took it out there's nothing on the back page there's no signature or like secret treasure map or something so this is the only one i have but here it is close up if you want to get a tattoo of it yourself i think it's so beautiful definitely screenshot this thing i think it would be like an amazing back piece or like a thigh like a little thigh thing right there. Actually, maybe I'll still get it. Getting to the end of our list, this will be the last thing I talk about. And these are flash that are my own tattoos. And I actually stopped doing this because I felt like it was really annoying that I did it. Um, I kind of wish I kept doing it for a little while longer, but I don't do it anymore. It is up to you if you want to do it, but these are actually stencils of my own tattoos. This is like a little bit of the fabric. I actually just saved stencils from when I was getting tattooed and I put some like DIY, I got some like canvas fabric and put it in the picture frame and then just put my stencil in there. So I have this diamond tattoo on my inner arm, but like I never get to see it and it definitely doesn't look like this anymore. So I have two of these that I kept, and this picture frame is from Target, but it's really thin plastic. I don't recommend, even though it has this like fun detail, I've had to like tape it closed 20 times. And then this is my queen's crown. It's on the back of my leg. You, probably, you guys probably have never seen it before ever. I really like it though, little queen of hearts action. And I think like, Having this makes me feel like I can see the tattoo all the time. And although it might be like a little narcissistic that I have framed pictures of my own tattoos, I really like it because it's on the back of my leg and I never get to see it. So I'm happy that I have just these two because the diamond doesn't look like that anymore and I never get to see this. And I think that it was done really well and you can see like in the stencil where it was folded in half, I guess so he could make each side symmetrical. And I really like that. So this picture frame, I spray painted rose gold. It was from the thrift store and it was like, um, like I love my dog picture frame. 
and it is like been rescued a hundred times I think it was like a dollar and I had spray painted the back of the picture frame so that was just like the exposed cardboard and I spray painted that part black if you ever want to do that I would definitely communicate with your tattoo artist and ask if you can have the stencil some tattoo artists might feel weird about it and some might not I can't make that guarantee for you because I feel really weird asking and I have never asked since these two so yeah these are all this is my tattoo flash collection some of it is not by a tattoo artist some of it is not technically flash and some of it like is flash but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it put your mind somewhere creative or maybe it made you think of your own tattoo flash collection or maybe you have 10 times more flash than I do if that's the case, definitely tag me in some pictures and let me know. Comment down below if you have any other questions or if you have your own collection tour. Definitely speak up so everyone can click on it and view yours as well. I would love to watch it too. Definitely tag me if you share your Tattoo Flash collection. If you have any other questions about Tattoo Flash, I talk a lot about it. I talk a lot about it in my All About Tattoo Conventions video. So I will link that down below too, so you can check out my convention, Tattoo Talk Tuesday. If you want to submit to Tattoo Talk Tuesday, please leave your questions down below. I love you guys, and if you were into this look, I'm going to have a video about it, maybe later today. I don't know. But I love you guys, and until next time, bye! Hey everybody, it's Quicken, and welcome back to another episode of Tattoo Talk Tuesday. If it is your first time joining us for Tattoo Talk Tuesday,